everyone! Welcome to our wellness video. For today, I would like to share with you the importance of liver. Liver is very vital when it comes not just with maintaining a healthy weight but also with our overall health and wellness. Liver is the one, the lump that sits under the rib cage and performs 500 functions from detoxification, from the cortisol level, from the insulin regulation, for any kind of chemical transformations. So what happens when we eat something, it will be digested and in small intestine, large intestine, it will be absorbed. And then there's one vein, we call it the portal vein, that connects to the liver. So anything that is um, absorbed by the liver, that is beneficial for the body, the liver will deliver it to the cells, tissues, organs for, for its function. However, if we eat something or we ingest something that is not fully for the body, it can be any kind of harmful substances, liver has the capacity to transform those substances into harmless. So you can still have that um, any kind of uh, harmful substances and the liver can process it and become harmless. However, when the liver is functioning for 500 functions and we keep ingesting that is an additional work for the liver, the liver is now doubled up with its work. Meaning, um, for the 500 function, it has to ingest and it has to transform some of the chemical substances that is unnecessary. So the liver has to double up, which some of the functions and the liver might overwork. Not until we, we get the mild fatty liver that lead to um, average and severe fatty liver because the, the liver is not functioning well. So most of the time, the de detoxification process is not fully performed. Sometimes we create a non-fatty liver because of the food that we ingest, because of the chemicals that we ingest that add burdens to the work of the liver. So what happens is when we ingest um, sugar or any kind of processed food that is not meant for the body, the liver will function double time and all of the excess will turn to glycogen, which is will create glycogen on our liver. And all of those excess glycogen that is not used, it'll be transferred as fat cells. So now we are creating a non-fatty liver, which is, we have two kinds, the non-fatty liver and the alcoholic fatty liver, which is caused by alcohol. So we'll focus more on the non-alcoholic fatty liver. So all of those things is now accumulated as a surplus. Now the liver is now built, there's a fat build up in the liver and some of the function is not really performed well. So even though how healthy eat, food we eat, but our liver is not functioning well, we can still create some kind of inflammation and diseases. With some of our friends that are skinny and they keep eating more processed foods, they think that they are healthy because they're skinny, they are still getting fatty liver because the liver is totally not not directly linked to the fats and metabolism but when it comes to fatty liver we can be skinny but having a fatty liver because we keep accumulating glycogen stores and fats in that liver so even though we're skinny so the tendency we eat more but we're not taking care or we're not thinking about our liver we're, we still accumulate the fatty liver so we don't have any signs not until we get the diagnosis so might as well get the prevention rather than waiting until we have this fatty liver accumulation already so what i suggest is up intake our cruciferous vegetables mostly because they are the ones who absorb all of those excess fats and with the less processed sugar we, that we tend to give the liver a break. 
Second is eating good fats. It is because if we are eating good fats, we are producing more bile and that bile helps with the bro of broken of the fatty acids which is sits in the liver. Second is you can do also the intermittent fasting which is the fasting helps with the usage of the excess sugar or excess glycogen in the, in the liver. Also, the eating low processed food because instead of putting more burden to the liver, giving a liver this break of not eating processed food can easily, easily recover to function more. Exercise. Exercise is very beneficial with the liver because every time we move, we use the excess glycogen um, and sugar to our body's muscles and especially the liver. And lastly is as much as possible if we can um, avoid or lessen the use of over-the-counter drugs because anything that we put in our body, any kind of chemicals, skincare, any kind of pesticides, herbicides, those are not natural. Plus with those medications, the liver have to filter and function that. So as today friends, as a uh, practice, give our liver a break for a while and give that liver the proper rest to function more and to perform its its uh, duty to cleanse and to do what it needs for this body to be healthy and balanced so for today friends i'm sending you all the peace love happiness and always stay healthy people bye everyone